The next time you see these legal words in a contract, I want you to throw a tantrum, run away. Seriously, I would have words with these words. I'm going to talk through three annoying words that we need to remove from contracts in 2021, 2022, seriously, like forever. I'm Maria Spear Alice, lawyer for content creators and online brands, and this is the Spear IP Show. <laughs> So the first of these three annoying, archaic, old school words that shouldn't be in contracts in 2022 is the word shall. Shall, I shall do this. I shall go to the store today. No, you will. Shall means will, use will instead, please. The next word is herein. Herein, I can't even use herein in a sentence because it's so ridiculous. When you see herein in a contract, it means in this contract. The rights described herein. How about the rights described in this contract? It sounds like English. Finally, notwithstanding the foregoing. Notwithstanding the foregoing basically means despite whatever was in the previous sentence or despite whatever was in the previous paragraph. You could also say the exception to the previous sentence is instead of notwithstanding the foregoing. I challenge you to use notwithstanding the foregoing in a sentence in your everyday life. You can't do it. The exception to the previous that sounds so much better. So notwithstanding the foregoing, herein and shall. So now you have learned three annoying, archaic, old school legal words that have no business in your contracts. Take them out and some alternatives of what to use instead. Hope that helps and I'll see you next time. I want you to go to spear-ip.com slash quiz to learn the legal blind spot that is secretly killing your business. Not only will the quiz help you to identify your legal blind spot, but it's going to give you personalized guidance on how to fix it. Again, that's spear-ip.com slash quiz.